Hello everybody! Somebody sent me a message and they said hi! I'm making a vampire game. It's an RPG. Would you like to play it and do some videos on it? And I said, well, yeah, of course I would. So this is being made by an indie gamer. It's on Steam. Greenlight, well not an indie gamer, an indie game developer, though I presume that he also plays games. Because why wouldn't he? Games are awesome. And yeah, this is me doing that. I have no idea whether it's good or bad, but I am I am hoping. I think that it could be good. It has a lot of potential. It's a vampire game, and it's an RPG, and I am really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fantastic. So here we are inside the game, and um, you can choose whether you want to be like a vampire or sort of a, a sort of not quite a vampire. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but basically the non-vampire one is sort of half vampire and half human, not as strong as vampires. They don't have to drink as much blood and they have some resistance to light and fire. So apparently light, silver and fire, very very bad stuff in this world of vampires. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, we can be warrior, witch, criminal, um, or warrior again. So basically, what it looks like is we have warrior, mage, rogue in vampires, which is just a standard RPG thing. It's very much in the realms of normalness. And I am really looking forward to trying out being a vampire. I have no idea. There's like a lot of different mechanics. Apparently, like you have to like drink blood and sire people or something. I haven't really had a look at it. I played it for like a couple of seconds just to make sure it wasn't going to crash instantly, and it didn't. So everything should be absolutely perfect, and my brain isn't working properly because I had like a really, really large lunch. It was a very big woman, uh, lots of blood there, so um, yeah, I'm quite full, feeling a little bit sluggish. You know how it is, uh, you've got to try and keep the, the blood to a certain level, otherwise you get a little bit too slow and then people can catch you out, you know. It's not good stuff, make sure not to stand in the sunlight, and of course, anyway, let's get going! We have strength, we have dexterity, we have charisma, we have vitality, we have intelligence, and we have persuasion. And we've got some thirst over there, I have no idea how that works, I don't. Um, anyway, so, we are going to be going a warrior, at least on this run through, so I'm going to put quite a lot of points into strength. I'm going to put a point into intelligence, and a point into vitality. Hmm. I think I don't. It, the tip thing is giving me like telling me that if I want more dialogue options, I should go into persuasion. But I don't really want to go into persuasion simply because, as it says on the left, you know, um, warriors want to use force over magic or, or persuasion. And I am going warrior, so I want to be really, really super strong, and um, I want to have lots and lots of health. And the intelligence, from what I saw of it, uh, like it determines identify, hacking, decipher, and talent points. Now. With talents, I think that there's like a percentage chance per point of intelligence you have to get a talent point. So with 10 intelligence, I think you get a talent point every level, maybe. And with more intelligence points, you might get more um, talent points per level. So I'm going to be putting some intelligence points in there. And then moving on, I think that should be good. And we're going to call this, what shall we call ourselves? Hmm quite sure. Uh, let's just be boring, call ourselves Tempest again, since it is for the Tempest playthrough. We are having a look at this for the Tempest playthrough, it should be very, very cool. We've got ourselves a little cinematic. Oh, ooh, spider, oh, I hate spiders, just, no, just spiders, way too many spiders already. There's two spiders already, they just popped out there. And we've got some spiders, this guy's staring into a hole in the wall. Man, don't stick your arm in, are you insane? We just saw two spiders come crawling out. Why would you stick your arm in there? And now a crow comes flying out. This guy doesn't seem to be um, really on the level in terms of common sense. You see, in a movie, video game world, or just generally in real life, when there's a hole anywhere, you don't just stick your arm in there because it never ends well. And that statue is looking very ominous. It really is. This isn't going to end well for him. Ooh, what was that? He's dead. What did I, I tried to tell him. He didn't listen to me. That's not my fault. I told him. I, I said, you know, don't don't stick your hands in those crevices, man. You don't want to do it. And then he pressed the button, and uh, normally I would approve of pressing buttons, because buttons are really cool, especially on the Shaw of Pride. But he pressed that button, and he got incinerated. So, look at that. There's a dagger and a torch just sort of lying there. Ooh, who's that? Ugh. Doesn't look very nice. He, uh, he seemed to be very, very big on teeth. 
very very toothy guy over there. It didn't even look like he had hair. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been many years of deep slumber from the embrace. But with each new bloodline, you will grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. I've asked Varric to watch over you through these long years. Seek him out should you need any guidance from the ruins. Okay, we got sort of like an eerie sort of feel going. It's a very, very strange music happening at the same time. We got tutorial mode. You want to enable tutorial mode because this game is tricky. Ooh, that sounds like some very rumbly thunder going on there. Uh, yeah, let's go with tutorial mode since I do not know how to play this game. I'm so terrible already. We just started. Look at this. Okay, what have we got over here? So we just popped out of there. You know, it's all good. We've been sleeping for a couple of years because, whoa, was that one intense party. We had to... Ugh. Who are you? Can I attack you? Okay, I can't. Yeah, it's not happening. Ooh, it's just freaky. Look at that guy. Ooh. Is, is that even a person or is that a statue? No, that thing moved. Ooh, that it moved. That thing is definitely alive. I'm going with alive. Alright, we have a hint thing that I just noticed. Keep an eye out for flashing icons at the top of the screen. You may have a new quest or some points to spend because spending points is really cool. And um, we've got three abilities. We have this armor, and we can like summon ooh, vampire gaze. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, ow! I, my floating eyeball hit a rock. It was painful. Ugh! Just exploded into a giant ball of energy, which already was a giant ball of energy. It was magical. Um, press one, two, three, or click on the hotbar icons. Vampire's gaze skill is very important. Okay, cool. Which mouse mode? So we can press Z to like swap between mouse modes. So I can press Z now, it frees up my mouse mode, and the um, game changes. But I like the I like this mode. This mode kind of works for me. I think it's cool. Look at that. There's a vase over here. Oh, oh, that's not a vase. That's a barrel. Ooh. The barrel has a green roach, a rare insect. Uh, okay. Book of Law, hints and strategy. Let's right click to, to use it. Strategy, do not go near. What? Do not know, go near without enough light resistance. Sometimes a lever will close the skylight, preventing the moon from reaching the light. Ah, I see. So as a vampire, if we go into the light, that is bad stuff. Is it any type of light? Like, um, I imagine not. But it's, it says skylight, preventing the moon from reaching the lens. So it's not just like sunlight that Oh, that's actually very clever, now that I think about it. Seeing as moonlight is, it's sunlight. It really is actually sunlight, because the moon is reflecting the light of the sun. So basically, yeah, going by vampire lore, that would kind of make sense. Being in the moonlight would be a terrible idea. It would hurt a lot. And the ancients used a polished lens that could magnify the sun's reflection against the... Oh my goodness, it's right there. I was thinking, I was like, oh, look at me, I was so cool figuring this out, and it's like written right there. Anyway, let's just go to the next page. Guardians, the creatures regain health while near the fragment. It is best to lure them away before trying to attack. Black shadows guard the remains of the undead. Okay. Uh, Alright. This is cool. Being the brother to Medusa, he will naturally... He will not hurt snakes. He will not hurt unless you attack. Okay. Ghost head wanders the passage, turning creatures into stone. Ugh! Does he turn me into stone? Do I become a stone vamp? Uh, do I become a mere statue of a vampire? Click on icon or press I to open inventory to equip items. Can I equip an insect? Uh, it's just like, uh, ooh, I don't want to equip an insect on my eyes. That is just gross. Why would I want to do that? Ugh! What were you thinking, audience? Why would you? Why would you do that? That is very just. Yuck. Anyway, uh, let's go into this, and we want to go into skill points. We have new skills. Let's get let's get this one. Summon a crow to attack. Higher levels allow more aggressive crows. Let's add a point into that. That looks cool. I want that. Let's summon a crow. Hello, buddy. How, how are you? Look at him. Hello. How, how are you doing? Oh, hang on. I need to change the mouse mode again. There we go. He's just sort of he's just chilling. He's ready to peck the eyes out of my foes because he's awesome. 
This guy's that's a very yeah, strange hat you have there, sir. How is your sleep? It's quite restful. Very restful actually. But very restful sleep. I feel so rested. It's amazing what a couple of years of good good sleep can do for you. It's, it's amazing. I feel so rejuvenated and um and, and hungry for blood for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Did you say something? No, you couldn't have. Your lips are sewn shut. Okay, let's go with the who are you option. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. There's a lot of options where our character is just amazingly freaked out by the fact that Sky is talking uh, and his lips are sewn shut. I, normally we would find that weird, but um, we just woke up in a coffin. So at this point, I'm kind of... Yeah, nothing's really surprising me at this point. All right. Wait, what? Wait, what are you saying? I'm very confused. I'm always confused. So confused. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. You are bite? No longer mortal, I'm afraid. Your blood has been tainted with the bite from a What are you? Are you also a vampire, or are you like something else? I don't know what you are. I have no idea what you are. Um, so now I'm a vampire. Is that what you're saying? I'm not a vampire. I'm, ju I'm, ju I'm just a fledgling. You are to survive here in the ruins. I have to pout and, and sulk because we're only a fledgling vampire. We're not a proper vampire. We're just sort of like a, a youngling, like not really doing much. What is this place? How did I get here? Okay, I could just tell him to get to the point, but that seems rude. I don't know what this guy could do. He's talking and his lips are sewn shut. So this guy's obviously a badass, pissing him off. Not the best of ideas. Uh, let's say something else. Ruins. Not graveyard. Someone obviously either doesn't like you, or they're trying to teach you something. Why are you asking me? I, I wouldn't know. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I'm here, so now what? Yeah, the creatures found here are not as friendly as me. What skills? To bite things. Okay, so I have, um, basically what it seems is like is I didn't know I was a vampire. And I've just been told that I'm going to have to bite people and drink their blood to survive. So, of course, I have two major thoughts. Bite, not sure if I want to kill anybody. Or if I drain people, won't I be just as bad as the evil around here? So, but this, they seem to be quite moral. You know, I'm a very nice vampire. I don't want to hurt anyone. Um, Bye. You know? Suit yourself. Okay. Make sure you don't drain them dry and they will be fine. But I warn you, you will be tempted to go back for seconds. <laughs> okay. Oh, where do I go now? Of the ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. She is the only traitor here. Okay, thanks for the help, man. You, you know, it's very nice of you. I mean, you didn't really have any need to say anything. What am I holding? Oh, I have a flashlight. Can't I just see in the dark? I'm a vampire. I should be able to see in the dark. Like infravision. Oh, is that a door? What is that? Let's go in there. I don't have a lockpick, do I? Do I have a lockpick? Let's see if I have a, no lockpicks. We haveth no lockpickeths. Um, yeah. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? It's cool being a vampire. Uh, ooh. ooh, what's that? What is this? Oh, everything's needing lockpicks, crow. Go find some lockpicks, buddy. Go do it. Don't fly above my head, man. I, I don't trust you. I know what birds do, and, and they do it to statues, and... And I just read about something that could turn me into statues, and I swear, if you if you do if you poo on me while I'm a statue, I will kill you in statue form. I'm a vampire. I can do things, uh, things that you would never expect. Oh, ow! I just walked into an exploding barrel. That was ow. That that was not nice. Ouch! Wow. My my. I think I singed my pants. My pants are now very singed. Um, let's open the map. We've got. Okay. There's a wolf over there. A zombie over there and some kind of like a shadow siren, whatever that is, and we need to go over there to some ancient statue. So let's turn around because I am terrible at navigating maps. It is indeed this way. Let's go this way. Oh, look at this guy. Who are you? Tutorial hint, you can bite and sire to build your army. Try biting... okay, that just sounds wrong. Try biting the bum. Ugh. Anyway, um, Press this button to bite. Positioning for best bite. And nom 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 nom. Delicious blood. Fantastic. I got myself lots and lots of blood. It's all good. It's all good. Let's close that tip screen. And now, which button is it? Oh, I can't remember. It's this one. There we go. Okay, so we've got talents. No talents. 
And we've got the Psyatry. Oh, we don't know who turned us into a vampire. We have unknowns. A mystery awaits, unraveling. And we have sired this guy as our first um, person. It says you may want to choose wisely whom you or who you bite, but uh, can't I just sire infinite people? Is that not something I'm able to do? Is there like a limit to how many people I can sire then? I, I don't know. Since some victors, some victims may make better members than others. I'm guessing that since this is the first guy we've run across, he's going to be like absolutely terrible. Uh, let's just take all your stuff. I am not only turning into a vampire, but come on, that, that's really a gift. I mean, why would you not want to be a vampire? I mean, basically, when someone says, would you like to be a vampire, there are two responses. Hell yes, and uh, what's a vampire? So, that, that's pretty much, that's, that's like what anyone could do. There's a breakable wall nearby on the left. Oh, there we go. Is this the... Oh, hello, Shadow Siren, let's go. I killeth you. No, ow. Sheesh, she hurts. Look at me, I can regen pretty quickly, though. Am I, am I regening? I don't think I'm reaching. Ghost affects flashlight. Okay, you're affecting my flashlight. I'm stabbing you! You've got five health remaining. I've got this. Such a pro. Look at that, we got 108 experience from that. And apparently no loot. There does seem to be something on the floor though. It's like a little, little purple shard. We'll take that in a second. Um, I just want to check out this flashlight. What happened to it? Is it getting like drained or something? We only have 84% battery on this flashlight. I think we can turn that off then. Let's take a fragment. Hello, fragment. Turn my volume down. It's being a little bit loud for me. I'll be able to adjust, to adjust it in the can editing you with you guys. Blood fragments are from the hardened hearts of fallen vampires. Phew. That is gross. I'm carrying around vampire hearts. Yuck. At least they're not, like, bleeding everywhere. Um, anyway. Oh, do I have, like, sunlight shining on me? Does this hurt me? I'm standing in sunlight, moonlight stuff. Oh, it burns. No, it doesn't. It's not burning me at all. It's not concentrated enough, I guess. It must be that those, like, uh, panel thingies, they just concentrate the moonlight so that it actually hurts. But otherwise, the light's not too much of a problem. I don't mind the light. It's all good. Um, yeah. Alright. So, what do I do now? I'm guessing I go through that door. Vampires seem to turn into, like, crows and stuff more than bats. The usual thing is bats, but I guess crows are kind of cool, too. Ooh, tutorial hint, there's a merchant behind the closed door. Get close to the door and click it to open. Let's close that and open the door. Close the hint and open the... That is a very large door you have there, miss. Wow, that, that is, seriously, that door is huge. Look at this door, it's insane. It's a massive door. Anyway, hello. So we've got store open, no rubies, out of stock, no refunds as well. Okay, right click you to talk with Sarah. Huh? Brock mentioned you. But don't get any ideas about trading here. This is not some local grocery store, you know. This trade shop is set up strictly for excavators. The ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. However, I am in need of some wolf fur. I probably shouldn't. But if you can find some fur, I might make an exception for you. Okay. Thank sure you. Sure, I can do that. You can find a few blood wolves in the courtyard area. Come back when you have found some wolf fur, huh? Fair enough. Um, does she not know I'm a vampire? I, I suppose I'm not really carrying a sign around that says, I am indeed a vampire, please fear me. Um, I'm trying not to be particularly obvious about it. But you know, I am a vampire, so I could just sort of kill anyone that has a problem with that. You don't like me being a vampire, I will chew off your face. Because I'm a vampire. So there. <laughs> anyway, we have the map. Um, exit to the court chart and the statue of the ancients. So, I have no idea where the wolves are. Where did she say the wolves are? Let's see if... Okay, there's a flashing thingy over there. That is a journal! Okay, help there find the fur. Go to the courtyard and look on the map for the exact location. Okay, so I think that is behind us. Let's just check the map. Yeah, it's the courtyard. So it's where we came from. Just as well we didn't continue on then, because we should do side quests. Make sure that we're all big and strong and able to kill things. And... Hey, you're back. Hello again. 
I'm just sort of spamming stuff. Come on, normal attack, normal attack. We got this. I think we, we did that far more efficiently than um, the time before. So we are getting better. And they seem to respawn, so you can just go back and farm EXP a lot. Oh, look at that. What is that? I don't, oh, it's a tree. I thought it was like a statue or something, but it is in fact a tree. Hey, hello there. Good to see you're up and about. You you just seem to be kind of okay. You, you're tilting a little bit. Are you, are you feeling okay? Um, are you hurt? You know, we, we are vampires. You could just sort of regenerate a little bit. Or are you fine just sort of bleeding all over the floor? It's not very sanitary, really. Um, I'm trying to control you. Be controlled. Hello. Well... You can find loot, come here, attack and protect, look for new blood sire. Bums are very slow and probably not very stealthy. Not really stealthy enough. Okay, so go find loot, uh, I guess. Find some loot? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? Ooh, I like my cloak. That's a very cool cloak. I like it. Um, anyway, I got distracted there. Where'd he go? Did you, did you see where my minion went? I sort of told him to go do stuff and then he just disappeared. He's faster than I am. I don't know why they said the bums are slow. This guy's gone. He's like lightning. He's the lightning hobo. He's just insane. So far gone. Um, I do have lockpick. I do have a lockpick, don't I? But I want to save that. I want to save that for something else. Because I don't think you can really store very much inside a small crate. But maybe behind a large door you could store a lot of stuff. So let's rather go there and check out the map. Okay, we have to help her find fur. And it is this way. Do I have a run button? I don't know what the run button is. I, I have no idea. I'm just going to walk. Take a leisurely str- Ooh. Hello, wolf. How are you doing there? You doing well? Ow, don't hurt me. Whoa, this guy is brutal. Ow! Okay. I just leveled up. That was cool. Do you have any loot? Sir Wolf. Of course you do. Some wolf fur. That's fantastic. Now over here I should have do I have a skill point available yes I do I do indeed okay it is suggesting that I put some more points into other stuff what about bites okay it's not the bite doesn't seem to be pretty fantastic um, iron aura maybe maybe I should put some more into iron aura that does seem pretty cool and supernatural attack speed all weapon speeds are twice as far oh that's nice wow Oh, I think we should get that. Let's get that. Um, and then we're going to be improving them. I think that that should be good. We can get sprints as well. Our Sire Tree is still same. And talents. We don't have any available talent points, despite the fact that we put some stuff into... Um, into intelligence. Uh, hmm. Not quite sure how the talent point system works then. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So we have five new stat points. I'm going to put one into strength. I want to get more into intelligence now, because I really want some stat points. Give me stats. And let's go for some vitality for a little bit more health. And that is that. Okay, why does my flashlight keep turning itself on? I'm not, I'm, I don't want it to be on. Go away, flashlight. I will unequip you if you keep being so moody. Don't be so moody, flashlight. What's over here? Is this, uh, that appears to be a fence. We have discovered a fence. Oh my goodness, we're so good at this game. Look at that, it's a fence. Wow. Okay. Who's this guy? Who are you? Are you just like a random guy? It's like, yeah, 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 I just like to chill out in, you know, in graveyards that, that may or may not be filled with traps and vampires. You know, it's just sort of, it makes me feel at peace, man. It makes me feel all, all, all good-like, you know. Just, just for no reason whatsoever. Hey, Hello? Sleep beauty is finally oh, wait, are you a vampire? Do you, do you know me? My nat was fantastic. I'm so glad that everyone keeps asking. It was really, really good. Thank you. No, it was good. Really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside your coffin. That's kind of creepy. Sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. Didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch them, though, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. Oh, oh, you're looking man. for blood fragments. You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> me and a few other guys have been uh, hired as excavators to find all the fragments in these ruins. So do people know about vampires or not? Because I kind of feel like I'm getting some mixed messages here. 
I don't think the ven the vendor knows that I'm a vampire. I think these people might though. I'm not entirely sure what's going on though. Um, maybe they do know I'm a vampire. You know, in which case, why are you guys in this place? I could be, I mean, you don't know me. I could have woken up and be like, yeah, I'm a vampire. I'm cool with it. I'm just going to go and kill everyone and um, have like a, a very, very good blood buffet. Just have like a whole bunch of cups laid out with various types of blood, you know. Very, 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 very creepy. Oh, I'm if just you're supposed to be excavating, why are you just standing here? One of them tore up a leg pretty bad. Man, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which reminds me, if you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? Okay, let's just get this straight. You have just told me that this stuff is unbelievably valuable. Probably shouldn't have done that. And now you've also told me that you've just lost a massive bag filled with the very, very valuable stuff. And would I just be, like, so kind as to bring that very, very valuable stuff to you? Yeah, sure, whatever. No, it's, it's it's normal. That's it's just the typical RPG stuff of, you know what? You see that treasure that's worth way more than I'm gonna pay you. Could you just get that for me and risk certain death for it? Thanks. Uh, if I hey, see your bag, thanks. I'll let you know. Also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. She set up a temp. Yeah, I spoke to Sarah. She's um, uh, she doesn't seem to like me very much. Ooh, there's a secret door here. But you need the secret sight skill to see and open it. Help Machia. Is this Machia? And he will help you. Okay, so maybe he's going to give me a skill as a reward. That actually sounds pretty fair. Like, I'm I'm very cool with that. Okay, the wolf's den is through that secret door, which I can't get through until I help this guy. So let's go back and get some stuff. Ooh, a waterfall. Can vampires cross running water? Yes, we can. We can indeed. Um, very easily, actually. I hope you enjoyed this video, it's the first video in the series, and I'm kind of enjoying playing this so far, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how it works out, ooh, who's this? That is a zombie, so when we return it's time to be some zombie slaying, time to slay some zombies. I hope you enjoyed, cheerio.